Have you collected all of the orbs? I too have found what I was looking for and have not long since returned. I wish to impart to you that which I have found. But I cannot do so like this. Please arrange your items so that you can each carry one more on your person. The orbs may be kept in your bag. Then I will impart to you the world's last hope of survival. I have located that which may be this world's last hope. Now, I entrust it to you. The Scepter! The Scepter of Trodane! Careful with that! It's full of hocus pocus! Don't touch it! There is no cause for alarm. The scepter no longer harbors Rapthorn's soul. Now it holds only the souls of the Seven Sages. Over the passage of its long history, the truth behind this scepter has been lost. In the beginning, it was crafted by the hands of the Seven Sages under my instruction, and they gave it a name. They called it the Godbird Scepter. You will need it if you are to break the dark shield around Rapthorn. Only when it is broken will he become vulnerable. Only then can you fight him. I will fly you to his location. The Lord of Darkness will engage you in mortal combat. But you must endure his attacks as you pray for the power of the Scepter. When the four of you pray for its power in unison, one by one you will summon the souls of the Sages to unlock the power of the Orbs. I can give you no more advice. Do you understand what you must do when you face the Lord of Darkness? Then we cannot afford to delay this battle any longer. Are you ready? You must fight him now. Take the scepter.
My beloved kin, we sages have done all that we can. Now our dear world, our future lies in your hands. Protect it well. We will be watching you. Farewell, my beloved kin. Farewell, Imperia. Meddling pests, how much more of my time will you waste? You will rot in hell for breaking my shield of darkness. But first, you will taste the true might of my flesh and blood. You shall taste the terror eternal. Even death shall offer you no respite. Bangers and Mash, it's all over. And I have something to tell Alistair, too. That he was right all along. I only made it this far because I followed my heart. Who'd have thought we'd ever manage it? Hmm, should be an interesting anecdote for the ladies. I bet Grandad and the Orcs Princess would be having a whale of a time by now. They must be back to normal at last. 
I'm half surprised the old codger ain't turned up to surprise us as usual. But even he couldn't spring up in a place like this, eh? <laughs> I transported your friends back to their homeland. Brave heroes, I will never forget your strength and courage. You remind me of the Seven Sages. You humans never fail to surprise me. It is time to land. Your friends are eager to see you again. can be with your friends again. Ah, there you are! Welcome back! I saw you all in action. My wonderful men! You were magnificent! I ain't one of your men, Grandad. Neither am I. And I'm a free agent. Hmm? <laughs> of course, of course. And I suppose you weren't magnificent either. Wise bird! A god! I, are you leaving us already? This world is in no danger now. My path leads to other worlds. I see. Well, anyway, we are in your de- Wait a minute! Aren't you forgetting something? What about the princess and I, hmm? Just how long are we going to have to suffer this outrageous curse? Well, the power of Rapthorn's curse is weakening. It will not be long now. Really? Splendid! I feel much better for hearing that! Well, I don't know where your next destination is, but take care! Is it uh, proper to tell a god uh, to take care? I am not a god, nor is my real name Imperia. These are but the names you humans have given to me. I was known by a different name in the land of my birth. There I was called Ramia. But now I must leave. Goodbye, brave humans. It has been an honor to have known you. Goodbye. G -g Granddad, you're sparkling! <laughs> it's taken you this long to notice. A personality as rich as mine always sparkles. Nah, I mean literally. Take a look at yourself! Hmm? I... I... I'm back to normal! Hurrah! 
I'm back! Finally rid of that hideously ugly guys! But you don't look no different! You look exactly the same as before! <laughs> what did you say? Are you blind? Dazzled by my striking appearance, no doubt. Wait. This is no time for an argument. Where's the princess? Where is my beautiful Medea? Hello, everyone. Medea! You're back! Oh, my beloved Medea! <laughs> at last, at last, the curse is lifted. Everything is back. As it should be. Father. Hey, look. My castle is back to its old self, too! Trodane is restored! The glory returns! Everyone, this calls for a banquet! Prepare a feast! Gaff! 
Hey, hey! Long time no see, eh? I ain't seen your mug since we polished off that fat geezer. Yeah, we ain't heard a flaming peep from you since. I mean, I know you're the strong, silent type, but still. I've had to put up with this one grumbling and moaning the old time. Honest to goddess, his first words to me when he come to me gaff were, Do you think the gov's forgot about me? All right, Red. There's no need to make me sound so flaming soft. What? I'm only telling the truth. Uh, any, anyway, Gov, I heard the news. Edgard, eh? It don't get much better than that, does it? You deserve it, though. I'm well chuffed I can help you out on your first big job and all. And it's for none other than our darling horse prince. Oh, listen to me. She ain't an horse anymore, is she? So we're escorting the princess to a wedding at Savella Cathedral, right? Oh, I don't know, though. Beats me why she's still marrying that charmless bloke. After all this happened. Oh, yeah. Nearly forgot. I was supposed to give you a message from this old minister I saw on the way over. Seems the princess is ready to deport now. So you can go and fetch her from a room like. I'll be waiting down in the courtyard then, eh? See you in a bit. Ah, it's been a while. I came as soon as I heard the news. So, it seems we'll have the honor of escorting the lovely princess. I just ran into Yangus too, same as ever. I'm a busy man, as you know. So I wasn't too thrilled at first at having to drop everything and come over. But it is good to see the old gang again. Anyway, are you really all right with this wedding going ahead? You don't have to stick around if it's too hard for you. Just do what you have to do, my friend. Like I did when I left the Abbey. Oh, <laughs> Angelo's so wonderful. You know, he looks after children who don't have anywhere else to go. Don't you? He says he wants to repay all the kindness Abbot Francisco showed him when he was all alone in the world. <laughs> Isn't he just the sweetest man you ever met? <laughs> hey, no need to tell the whole world. I have a certain image to maintain with my admirers. Well then, see you in a bit. I'll be down in the courtyard taking a break. Come and find me when you're ready.
ragazzo! I have been searching for you, Lo and I. So, you take the bellissima principessa to the Savera Cathedral, eh? I, too, have been invited to the matrimoniales. And by the King of Argonia himself. But I think to myself, if I follow the wind here to Trodain, I can be reunited with my old ragazzo companion. Another adventure together already! <laughs> Fantastico!
Long time no see. How have you been? You look pretty well, that's for sure. But how come you haven't visited me in Alexandria? I've missed you. You know, I was planning to go off and live on my own, but my mother was so worried I ended up settling down back at home. I guess the time I spent away from her made us both realize what's truly important to us. We get on really well now. I'm not much of a replacement for my brother, but I decided to stay and look after Alexandria. With everyone's help, of course. But enough of that. Have you heard? Apparently, Yangus and Red have teamed up now and they're doing something together. Can you believe it? Last I remember, they couldn't exchange two words without three insults. I wonder what went on between them. Huh? You're on your way to pick up Princess Medea? Yeah, I guess it's time to get going. Okay then, I'll be waiting for you down in the courtyard. I suppose this is the last time I'll play the piano like this in here. I wonder if there'll be a piano I can play in Argonia. Thank you for coming. Is it already time to leave? I asked the minister to have you call on me so that we could take one last walk through the castle alone together, just like old times. I know it's not quite time yet, but I wanted to say goodbye to you properly, to thank you for everything you've done. The times I've spent here in Tredane Castle, with you, will be memories I shall treasure for always. I have to marry the Prince of Argonia to fulfil my royal duty, and you have to... Please continue to serve my father and protect Tredane, just as you always have. Oh. So then, shall we go? It won't do to keep people waiting too long.